The Tesla wall connector and the Tesla mobile connector are the most common home charging solutions. The mobile connector allows you to charge your car anywhere there's a power outlet. It's great to bring with you on overnight trips. A standard household outlet charges your battery relatively slowly. So we recommend using the mobile connector with a more powerful outlet for daily charging. To charge using the mobile connector, attach the adapter for the outlet you'd like to use. Plug into the outlet and then into your Tesla. A Tesla wall connector is the best home charging option. It looks great, has built-in cable storage, and is hardwired to your home for maximum charging speed and reliability. If you can, just top off every night where you park. It's best to maintain a medium to high charge level, so be sure to plug in whenever it's convenient. To plug in, point the connector at your car and press here to open the charge port. You can also open it from the touchscreen, phone key, or by pressing on the charge port door. The Tesla T illuminates in white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. Firmly plug the connector into the charge port and the T will first turn blue to show that the car is preparing or waiting to charge, and then to a green pulse to indicate that it's charging. The green light pulses slower as charging approaches completion and turns to solid green when charging is done. Press and hold the connector button to unplug. The T will turn blue and then white. Once it's white, simply remove the connector and then release the button. An amber charge port means that the connector isn't latched and likely isn't plugged in all the way. Try unplugging and plugging back in more firmly. Red indicates that there's a fault. Check your touchscreen for a fault message. Tesla supercharger stations offer the quickest charge. Use them on long distance trips or whenever charging where you park isn't an option. It's best to route to superchargers from your car's navigation. This preconditions your battery so it can charge as quickly as possible. Supercharging is fastest shortly after plugging in and slows as your battery fills up. Because of this, arriving with a lower state of charge will result in faster charging. Supercharging costs more than local home charging, but always far less than filling up at the pumps. Sessions automatically bill to the payment method you have on file. Be sure to move your car once supercharging is complete to avoid any idle fees and to ensure there's space for others to charge. Tesla's expansive and rapidly growing international charging networks allow you to travel anywhere you like with ease today. We're happy that EV charging locations from other organizations are also quickly spreading. Your Tesla comes with an adapter that allows you to plug in at many of these locations. First, attach the adapter to the charging station's connector. Then, plug into your Tesla normally. When it's time to unplug, press and hold the button on the station's connector and grip the adapter with your other hand. Once the T turns white, remove the connector and adapter together. Then, be sure to take your adapter with you. Additional charging adapters are available in the Tesla shop. Explore these and other accessories in the app. The charging menu appears on your touchscreen whenever you plug in. You can also access it by going to Controls and Charging. Schedule charging here to have your Tesla fill up on the lowest cost electricity available and to have it precondition itself before you leave for optimal performance. You can also set a charge limit. If your Tesla shows ranges for daily and trip, it's best to keep the limit within daily for everyday driving. Simply adjust it higher from your car or your phone the night before taking a long trip. If your Tesla doesn't display these labels, it's best to keep the charge limit at 100% and to charge it as often as is convenient.